Hello, thanks for joining me today. I'm Tanya. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook and Etsy, all under the name of Tatty Treasures. All the links will be down below in the description. So this is part two. Um, yesterday we spoke about the piano paper, different ways um, that you can buy it. So I'd bought some in A4 cut pieces. I'd also bought, I think, a metre of it in in a metre roll. And if you're lucky, you can, you know, get your hands on an original roll and cut it up yourself. Um, so we used two different glues. I tried the glue stick and Mod Podge on some different papers so I tried it on book page dictionary book page music paper craft paper cream card and two different lots of tracing paper one was a really thin one what was more like a tissue and one was a hundred GSM one which was more like a, th a thin vellum so the only differences I really found was was on the the thicker tissue one and this is the Mod Podge one and as you would expect it's um it's curled a little at the edges and it's got that crispy feeling uh, and sound to it and this is the same piece of paper which is the glue stick so this one's a lot softer um, I like them both. I think the the Mod Podge one would be a lot better in a more vintage style uh, journal. I, I think it's going to look really good, you know, really grunged up. Um, the other papers, there wasn't much difference at all. Um, I would just say that the glue stick probably just gave it that slightly softer feeling but yeah I, I've got no preferences I, I would use either so the next time you know I stick some more piano paper on I would grab for whichever one's the nearest so I'm gonna cut it all up into different shapes and things so I can use it in my projects I'm sorry if the lighting's just changed in here. Um, a cloud's just broken. It's gone really sunny. I've just had my uh, craft room redecorated and uh, I'm having a new blind which hasn't arrived yet. So I've got nothing up at the window. So I thought with the dictionary pages I'm going to cut them, one of the pages up into strips, one inch strips, so that I can make some sewn ruffles. So I thought that would be, be a good project today. So I'm just going to do them about an inch, maybe just slightly over. And the other dictionary page, I'm going to cut it up into small squares so I can make some clusters and things like that. I thought that would be perfect for that. So this first one, I'm going to do it just a little bit bigger because I don't know if you can see that's got uh, the words of what, what the song was. Bright is the world. So I shall cut that around there. The rest I'm going to do it about, about just over two inches. Thought they'd make good 
a good basis for doing clusters and things if they're not the right size when I come to use them obviously I can cut them cut them down smaller so I'm just going to put these back in and do them again about two inch so this should be good to, to put away in my stash so I've got lots of little bits to work with so that's the dictionary paper ones the tissue paper ones I thought would be good for making envelopes so I'm just gonna cut them in half I've tried putting the piano paper the piano side and the other side and it cuts absolutely fine um, putting the paper underneath makes makes all that difference I think if you try to cut it without the paper underneath you might get the the tears so the craft paper ones which I'm not a fan of I don't think I would use the craft paper again what I've done is I've folded them lengthways and then I'm just going to cut them in half and these will just make little A6 booklets so they're going to look really cool that's got some really nice nice indentations on and I'm going to do the same with the music paper. I thought they'd make really nice notebooks. I do love making the little notebooks. Don't they good tucked into different things? So that's them. And I've got a second craft paper one then what am I left with the two vellum ones so again I'm going to make those into envelopes so I'm just going to literally cut those in half I'm not at this step guillotine thing for, for very long but they're so so handy and um, the the card ones with the cream card are going to be tags obviously so I'm going to use my other trimmer sorry for for leaning over I'll get this one out so I'm these are just A4. I'm going to cut off about two and a half inches. Let's make sure that's straight. So I'm going to cut that off the long end. I'll obviously save that for something else. And then I'm going to cut across at about two and a quarter inches so I think they'll make really good size tags so again it cuts fine on the scoreboard the cut and score I have had to change my blade this morning when I tried it it um, did rip the, the paper up so I'm thinking you need a really sharp sharp blade so that's that I guess that's similar size so I might as well cut those in in about half I'll make another another two tags so we've got two four six seven out of out of that one and then this one's got the writing on so I want to get that 
Get that in. Let me cut it down first. So about that. Out. Yeah, I was so nervous about using this piano paper, but now I've started using it, it's it's no different to, to any other paper. You just need that that paper card or whatever stuck behind it just to give you the stability. So that's that. I'll cut these up, do them in half again. So that's that. So that should have made me about 14 tags. Then I've got these little strips left. Oh, that's got the writing on. So I'll just cut them into little squares for ruffles. I could even make some faux stamps with them. Choose them in collage. So that's them all cut up. So I've got loads of bases now to to work with. So I've got my trusty little card. I've done two um, cuts on this, so I've got this side which is for a smaller tag and this side which is for the bigger side. So you just line, line your card up with the edge and just turn it round. So again. So later I shall get all those cut, the, the envelopes I'm just going to fold up, is it got any nice writing on no. it, I'll do the top first. So these are going to be really, I might have to press um, these down again with with the book. So I'm just going to make that kind of envelope where you fold the bottom up and the top up. And I don't know if my sewing machine would, would go through this. So, and then I would round the corners. I think that's all, all I can prepare. So off camera, I'm going to get all these pieces prepared and then I shall come back and do some decorating. I hope that's helped a little bit. Um, like I say, before I started um, using the music paper, I was you know, quite anxious about using it. But if you've got it and it's in your stash and you wanted to use it go ahead use it it is no different to, to any other paper and I think it's going to look wonderful once it's decorated and inked so that's it for now have a nice day thanks for watching bye